today is Friday, May 6th, 2022. You can always reach me at the Fearless Floyd Show at yahoo.com. You can join me on Telegram, the Fearless Floyd Show. Hook up with some like-minded people. Ask a question, get in the chat. And you can always like or dislike this video. You can subscribe or unsubscribe. You can hit the notification bell or unring the notification bell. And you can share this video. As always, I am your host, Fearless. And this cute little nickname from this little old lady in called the, uh, let's see what you call me, the Foreign Feckless Fearless Floyd, <laughs> that guy down in Texas. Well, how you doing, Anna? And I'm doing fine, ma'am, down here in Texas. <laughs> so, you know, when I did my video on her back in December, and, uh, you know, I, I got a whole Monday night webinar dedicated all to me from Anna, rebutting everything that I stated in my video. She was all nice and calm and, you know, coy. <laughs> so she could front you guys. And shortly thereafter, uh, you know, of course, I got that, the hate emails from the haters, you know, the Kool-Aid drinkers from Anna. Uh, but I also got uh, emails telling me, oh, Anna's fixing to get the bank up and we're getting debit cards and wah, 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 wah. Starts out like Charlie Brown's teacher. Well, if I remember correctly, uh, a little over a year ago, we were promised banks and debit cards. When I was in the Texas State Assembly that belonged to Anna Von Reitz's Federation, but if you actually do your homework and just send Anna an email or Terry Psalms an email and ask them, can I get a list of the name of all the people that are in the Federation with their email addresses and phone numbers because I would like to speak to them. Just do it. See what happens. See if your ass doesn't get kicked out and tarred and feathered. <laughs> but back to the banks. Uh, has anybody got a bank yet? Anybody have a debit card? Has anybody's bills been paid through her little used to be Sign in America? I have no idea what it is now. She had to she had to change up the names because Sign in America was uh, such a, such a shit show. Right? Yeah. There are no banks. Assembly members. There are no debit cards. There are never going to be debit cards. There are never going to be banks that are run by the Federation or your state assembly. And if you think your state assembly has any kind of power, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but possibly you should just have somebody in authority like an elected justice or somebody in your militia go arrest somebody or issue a warrant for some of these uh, <clears throat> corporate elected officials and see what happens. Because then you'll find out where the power really lies. Because there is no power in the in the state assemblies. There's absolutely no power in the Federation. All those instruments that you, you know, sat down with your recording secretary and uh, took all that time to get notarized and signed and did your little recording meeting or they went they took their time and energy to explain all the documents to you that you were signing and submitting. Uh, 
cameras are sitting in your recording secretary's house or apartment or garage or office. They don't go anywhere. They're not recorded and put in a database where uh, uh, the corporate law enforcement officers can scan your ID that I'm still waiting on to this day. It's never been sent, but I've paid for it because that's a scam as well. <laughs> Anything and everything associated with Anavon rights is a scam, kids. It's a con. Send me money. I need money. We're taking a trip to Rome. Go meet with people in the Vatican. Taking two people with me. Y'all send me money. Send me money. Send me money. God damn, Anna, if you have access to everybody's uh, trust fund, like you say you do, because you've defaulted on the United States, <laughs> and the Queen, and the Pope, and everybody else you pontificate to uh, have taken the money back. Bum money from all your constituents, and your members, and your flock, you know, your culties. That's what, that, that's what it is, folks. It's a cult. <laughs> it's the cult of Anna Von Wrights. And all she is is a con woman. She's conning you, trying to take your money so she can survive up there with her Mr. Sex Offender husband, James Clinton Belcher. And, uh, you know, you kids are just have no ability to read, no ability to research, no ability to listen, no ability to see, no ability to hear. You are dumb as a box of rocks. Hate to say it, hate to prove it, but you guys are. It's sad to see you go through all this time and energy, week after week after week after week, month after month after month, year after year after year, and you know what? You are no further along anywhere in any state than you were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I know. I absolutely know. I was an elected justice of the Texas State Assembly. I've spoken to state coordinators from other states' assemblies who got ran off because they asked the right questions. They did their research. And, you know, if you don't, if you don't question authority, you're just another sheep. Sorry. That's how it works. So for all of you out there in Anna Von Reitz's little cult, uh, start asking questions. Where's the bank? Where's my debit card? How come my bills aren't getting paid off like you said they would, Anna. Right? How come we haven't stood up our states by now? It's been over a year. Y'all never stand them up because as soon as y'all get them, you know, close to where y'all can get things rolling, Anna comes in and starts slicing and dicing. Yeah. That's what happens. Uh, me myself, yeah, I'm still in contact with uh, everybody from the state assembly that decided <laughs> it's a scam, and we ran, and, uh, you know, we uh, meet up every Thursday, still talk, and still do things. So, I get a lot of questions sent to me because of my videos, you know, what do you think about David Lester Strait, or what do you think about these other assemblies? Now, I've never personally spoken to David Strait. I've watched one of his weekend seminars. I know people who have actually paid to go to his weekend uh, seminar retreats. I've also spoken to Destry Payne, who I believe, if I remember correctly, is a co-founder of the, of the other states' assemblies. And you can go look these guys up. They're online. Um... Uh, very knowledgeable guy, knows Anna Von Wrights, actually took guardianship of one of her kids for a time until Anna came and stole the child back and 
we know how those shows end when Anna raises children. She's not a very good mom. Because, uh, you know, when you fail to take responsibility for your own actions or your own inactions, that's a uh, big time behavioral issue. And Anna doesn't want to take responsibility for her own children. She wants, she told us that uh, her daughter, she blamed it on the public schools. And that's sad. Because, uh, you know, she had a choice to take the child out of public schools. She could have took that child anywhere she wants. She could have homeschooled that child. But she didn't. And that's how Anna rolls. Anna's going to deflect everything. She's going to ignore everything. She's not going to take responsibility for anything. Unless it's a big, bold-faced lie to get you further, deeper into the cult and donate money. Sorry, that's all I do. Because there is no bank. There's never going to be a bank. There is no debit card. Never going to be a debit card. Your bills are not going to be paid off through any process that Anna Von Rice has pontificated created or endorses absolutely not not gonna happen um, I am pulling into work it's offshore technology so it's very 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 sad that you know I watch some people that some just don't know any better um, others don't want to admit that they've been conned, you know, and come out of the closet and go, oh man, I got taken. Yeah, well, I got taken. I could st I, I could be a man and stand up and admit that. There's very few who can do that. Yeah, I got conned. I got taken. I spent money I shouldn't have spent, et cetera, et cetera. A big deal. Admit it, get out of it, move on. Go find somebody that's actually going to do the right thing, stand up, create something that has the potential to actually really be a government thing. Not some fraudulent, you know, entity sitting up in BFE Alaska begging for money from people. And getting, sending you out promises after promise after promise. All these carrots she keeps throwing out in the road that uh, you guys keep chasing that aren't even carrots. <laughs> it's a fictitious carrot. It doesn't exist. Just a bunch of words coming out of her mouth. All right. Cool. Pull right on up. So that's how Anna rolls. Sorry to tell you. Um, it's very, very, very sad that, uh, you know, there's people in the state assembly I tried to pull out, tried to tell them, because the Texas state assembly is a fucking mess. Still a mess. A year later, still a mess. Absolutely 100% a mess. And it's tragic that those people are infighting. You know, they have... Instead of one state coordinator, they wanted to appoint multi-state coordinators. Uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully that would create some or more organization, but all it did was create disorganization. And that's just how, uh, you know, that's what Anna likes to do. More the merrier. So, uh, you know, one of these days I'll do a show. I'll get all these, you know, I'll go back through my emails and I will uh, contact all these former state coordinators. Uh, I believe I have one in Hawaii, uh, California, Arizona, Texas, probably a couple more. And we can get on and do a video. <laughs> and they can tell you their experience. And, uh, you know, we can throw Eric in there just, just for good measure. <laughs> and you guys can uh, see it for yourself what Anna Von Wrights is really about because 
if you haven't figured out that she's a con woman, uh, Anna is a puppet being controlled by a, a very sophisticated, well-funded puppeteer. Okay? Now, I don't know what that puppeteer looks like. It could be an alphabet agency. It could be somebody that used to be associated with an alphabet agency or somebody who is extremely wealthy in the dark side of things, I'll say. Like, you know, black ops. Um, or somebody that could have been a very powerful political leader who now has some private corporation that meh, is kind of iffy. And uh, because if you think that little old Anna Von Wrights is up there in Big Lake, Alaska, sitting behind her computer, pounding out all these diatribes that she posts on her website, that she posts on Facebook, uh, that are very well written, researched, uh, <laughs> uh, and lengthy, uh, 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 ain't happening. She's got a team of ghostwriters. They write that stuff for her. And uh, she posts it. Okay? That's how she hooks you guys. You know, it's not hard when you got a whole team behind you. And it's not her team. Somebody else is paying for that. You're not paying for it. Somebody else is. And that's what's going on with the whole Anna Con rights scam. Because it's a scam. It's a cult. It's a scam. Just go find you somebody, okay, who doesn't know anything about Anna Von Rights, doesn't know anything about the state's assemblies, doesn't know anything about the private process, or, and I hate to say this, sovereign citizen movement, uh, and just turn on her Monday night webinar. Don't let them look at it. Just let them listen to it. Okay, the whole thing. And by the time they're done, ask them, okay, what'd you think about her? And they're going to tell you, man, that, that, she sounds like a dictator. Because she is a dictator. I'm getting some live, I'm getting some questions. So let me see if I can answer those. So what is the correct process? The correct process for what, chat? Where's that chief? Chief. Okay, there's a process, you know, to get on the do not detain list. There's a process to get your H card. Oh, yeah. Oh, Crystal. Uh, <laughs> I know of one person in my, in the, well, not my assembly, but uh, my former Texas State Assembly, whose husband was incarcerated in another state sent Anna $3,500 to assist getting him out of that uh, penal institution. And Anna didn't even contact her. Just straight up stole her money. Straight up stole it. Didn't even send her an email saying, thank you, <laughs> or uh, I'll look into it. Nothing, just <whistles> took her money. And that woman is still, if actually, her husband eventually got out with the help of somebody else, and they are both just like, you know, died in the wool, Anna Von Wright's worshipers, and they're still in the state assembly. One of them's a uh, state coordinator, and God bless both of them, because they are just, you know, like they've had a lobotomy. It's crazy. I don't get it. I mean, if you can't see it by now, I'm telling you guys, just ask questions and you will get your answers. You're not going to get the answers to your questions. Okay? Because <laughs> Anna will never answer your question. If you ask, where's our bank? Where's our debit card? When are my bills going to get paid off? And who are the Federation? Can I get their names? Their, their, their real names. Okay, because there's a couple of them running around up there. 
whose names aren't real. They're pseudonyms, <laughs> aliases. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh huh. Get their names, their phone numbers, their email addresses. And when you start asking those questions, you're going to get ridiculed, scolded, uh, lied about, uh, run right out of the assembly <laughs> quickly. It won't take long. Two to three weeks, boom, you'll be out. Disillusion, like, what happened? I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was ask questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can. I mean, I've I've got dozens of emails from people that this has happened to, or comments on my videos. Same scenario over and over and over and over and over. So, whoever it was that sent me the comment or email, I don't remember what. I get so much communique. Um, right after I did the video about you know, oh, Anna's fixed to open the banks and. We're going to get our debit cards. Just, and I say this for, for everybody. Anybody and everybody has a personal invitation from me to come on my show anytime to have a discussion. We can do it live. We can do it through a, uh, through a Zoom meeting. Uh, you, can, you can come anonymous. You can come without a video, just a you know, black screen or whatever you want. You, you don't even have to use your real name, okay? But I'm gonna vet you first to make sure you are what you say you are before I put you on my show. But if you wanna come in anonymous so you don't catch any ridicule from your state assembly or from Anna, or if you just don't even care anymore and you're like out of it like me and realize that uh, if I actually wield the authority that I'm led to believe that I have, my ass is going to end up in a prison just like the guys up there in Colorado did following Anna's crap. Because that's what's going to happen. I had to get my protein shake in before I go to work. Um, you know, I, I just don't want to tell you. Okay, but on David Lester Strait, uh, I've seen his paperwork. I've read through most of it. I personally, and this is me, um, this is not hearing anything from anybody else, I personally do not know anyone who has utilized his instrumentations to any type of success. And, you know, that goes across the board. So I don't know. I just, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to talk to David one day. I'd like to meet him, sit down, pick his brain. See where he's trying to take all this. You know, like I said, I've listened to a seminar. Uh, a full weekend of it. Live, actually. And uh, I just, you know. I, I, I don't see the direction he's taken. Because it didn't seem to me that he was trying to set up states assemblies. Um, he was just trying to educate people, you know, in kind of a broader sense. Which... I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. I understand what he's doing, but um, you know, I don't need to go pay somebody, you know, even a, even a hundred bucks, ninety nine dollars, to go tell me things that I that are easily found on the internet. All you have to do is just know what to look for and find it, or find the right group or groups and ask the right questions, and you're going to get your answers. Um. I haven't really delved into Destry Payne's um, American State Nationals, but y'all guys should go check him out. Uh, very knowledgeable guy. I've spoke to him on the phone for hours. Uh, you know, we want to do a video and, you know, things evolve and you get doing uh, videos on other things. So we just haven't gotten there yet. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, I agree with that about learning the true laws. Um, you have to study, 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 study. And, you know, 
when I did my uh, Social Security trust video, some of the evidence that I found to prove certain things, and, and believe me, I wasn't digging for it. I just ran across it and found it, and I was like, oh, my God. This was on page 75,000-something. 75,000 pages. Who has time to sit down and read 75,000 pages? It, I don't know how long that would take you to do, but to just, because it covered every federal government agency that exists. And you can't do it. And that was just this one volume that didn't include all the... <laughs> The uh, United States Codes, which there are 50 different titles in the United States Codes, uh, or the Code of Federal Regulations, or, uh, you know, IRS policies and procedures. You know, I can just go on and on and on and on and on. It's just, it, basically what this is, is a big matrix of a puzzle. But the puzzle pieces aren't in any one place, i.e. in the uh, United States codes or uh, in government info uh, or in the Code of Federal Re Regulations or in the tax code or in the consumer protection area of the codes titled uh, 26. It's spread out all over. So, because it's spread out all over, you've got to study all these different things and put the pieces together. And it's very, very, very difficult to get there. Um, you have to be diligent, you have to study, you have to take notes. Um, and it, 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 you're never gonna stop learning. That's the only thing I can tell you. Uh, the first thing you need to do, you know, is get you a UCC book or whatever business or commerce code that is in your state. In Texas, we have the Texas Business Commerce Code. And I bought a 2016, 2017 O'Connor's Texas Business Commerce Code Plus because the plus has all the forms in it. And they actually use that book here at the um, Oh, uh, what's that? Um, South Texas College of Law here in Houston. It's actually their textbook. And O'Connor was used to be a court of appeals justice here in Houston. And apparently she wrote a couple books and then they got in all these other ghost writers, these attorneys who actually compile the books now for each individual uh, code, whether it's Code of Criminal Procedure, Civil Practice Remedy Code, um, Penal Code, Property Code, Texas Business Commerce Code, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, find that book. Uh, I think I paid like ten bucks for it. Really good deal, handy book. They really don't change the laws that often. So generally, when you uh, are doing some research or writing an instrument and utilizing that particular section it's always good to go back and and uh, look for it on the internet to make sure that no new law has been uh, adhered to it whether that's through an amendment or a repeal or through a um, appellate court review or adjudication rather but anyway, guys, it's uh, almost time for me to go in here and start tearing down the uh, the offshore technology conference so we can get the hell out of here and hopefully have a Sunday off. Um, thanks for watching the video. You know, like I said, I'm on Telegram, The Fearless Floyd Show. You can email me, The Fearless Floyd Show at yahoo.com. I'll try to answer your emails. If you really want to contact me, Go on the Telegram group. We're always on there. Uh, I, I look at that all the time. I really don't, uh, you know, emails or I just, 
I've got so many email accounts that it's really hard to keep up with everything with my own personal stuff and then the spam and uh, I have another one that I also do. But anyway, if you like the video, like the video. If you don't, dislike it. I'm not tripping. I'm not here to become famous, become a guru or anything like that. I'm just here to um, present to you guys my own personal experiences, my successes, my failures. Hopefully introduce you to new people that can take you in a different direction or a new direction. Or to help lay the foundation on the path you're on to achieve your own motivational goals, whatever those may look like. Because we all have different goals. Alright, it's going to be a good day. Um, subscribe if you like my channel and content. If you don't, unsubscribe or just change the channel. Hit the notification bell or unring the notification bell if you don't want to be notified when I put out new videos. And you can share this video with everybody you want. Uh, if any of you guys are in the uh, State's Assembly of Anna Von Rights of the Federation, you can share this video with them. Um, you know, maybe it'll wake their eyes up because if you can get them out of their time and energy and focus of uh, following a fruitless endeavor and put them on a path to righteousness where, you know, we know that you don't need Anna, you don't need the assembly to become a free national in the United States of America. It just, you don't have to have that. Um, do I think we're ever going to set up our own de jure government? I think that if we go after these politicians, uh, these other elected officials, appointed officials, and employed officials, and start snatching up their bonds and their insurance policies and making them step down that we will have a better grasp of uh, not taking over the government but putting people in positions of power who are like-minded like us I mean we're gonna have to step them up and run you know this is what I mean by everybody out there you know waiting on Trump to come riding in on his white sky and then save the day with his, you know, sort of uh, defiance or whatever. And that's not going to happen. That's It, it would have already happened. So it's up to us, the people, to step up and take over. That's, you know, what you should be doing with the assemblies. The assembly is saying, okay, we need to organize, okay, we think you should do this. You know, you should run for this position. So, you know, let's start at the city level, the county level, then your state level, and get up to your congressional level. But it has to start just like a, a fundamental ground roots movement, that or grassroots movement that uh, we all take on together through organization and communication. And unless we do that, it's going to stay the status quo, and the corporate corporations are going to have the power. You can go back and look in my videos and you're going to see where the judiciary courts of the state of Texas are for-profit corporations. And that includes all county courts, county district courts, county courts of law, courts of appeals, court of criminal appeals, and the Texas Supreme Court. And they are a subsidiary of the state of Texas, Inc., another for-profit corporation. And I had an argument with a, a judge, a state district judge in Walker County, judge the late Judge Keeling, face-to-face. Uh, -face. And I kept telling him, the state of Texas is a corporation. No, it's not. It's a republic. No, it's a corporation. I had the Dun & Bradstreet. Well, of course, if you've ever seen the movie Con Air, you know, where they're like all chained up and shuffling to the plane, that's how they had me in court litigating in the grand jury room of the Walker County Courthouse in Huntsville, Texas absolutely so i'm trying to trying to go through this, all this paperwork with like two thumbs and could not find the dun and bradstreet report that i had to prove to this clown that the state of texas is a for-profit corporation and the court that i was in was a for-profit corporation so you can go back and look at that video if you'd like a copy of that leave a comment below send me an email the uh, fearless floyd show at yahoo.com 
I have a copy that's double certified by the Liberty County, Texas uh, clerk's office. And I'll send you a copy. And you can see it. Because the judiciary courts were created in 1845 by the people of the state of Texas. The state of Texas was created in 1836 by the people. Absolutely. And I have that document. I have their Dun, Dun and Brad Street background, uh, business background report with their Dunn's numbers on them. Absolutely. So that's what you're dealing with. And if you, you know, for people out there that keep following Anna Von Wright's, you know, you're going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And I promise you this, okay? <laughs> I promise you guys this. A year from now, we'll just go Cinco de Mayo next year, okay? There will be no bank. There will be no debit card. There will be no states taken over by that state assembly that belongs to Anna Von Wright's. Nope. Will not happen, okay? <laughs> just like I said a year ago <laughs> from this today, when I was in my state assembly, and I told him, man, this, this thing ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Then when we left, and then all the people that were running it, that are running it now, it's like, man, this place definitely is not going anywhere. I mean, they are so confused, it's freaking pathetic. Pathetic. It's a path it, The whole thing's pathetic because these people, you know, if, if any of you have been, been involved in the assembly, you understand that you're dedicating your own time and energy, you're sacrificing that, to your family or for your or from your family uh you know or to actually you know produce more income for your family by donating it to Anna Von Rights whether you send her money or you send her your time and energy absolutely so just think about this I hope this was an enlightenment for you, you guys I've got to go to work <laughs> Go have fun today. I appreciate you for hanging out with me for the last 37 minutes. And like I said, if you need to reach me, comment below. Fearlessflowchoyahoo.com. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And thank you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I'll see you later.